Alrighty guys, welcome back to this channel. In today's video, we're gonna be doing an unboxing and review of the Gyro Turadero Mid mountain bike shoes. After having previous experience with Gyro with the Montero Mid Summit, I was very excited to find a great deal on these shoes after knowing that Gyro had great quality. And honestly, I like the looks of their products. So without further ado, let's get an unboxing of the Gyro Turaderos. Unlike other YouTubers who treat these product reviews like a monumental moment in their life, let's get straight into the fun stuff, unboxing. So just a quick challenge, I'm gonna show a picture right now of my bike with the color schemes it's got going on. See if you can guess what color these shoes are gonna be. All right, so let's get on with the unboxing. All right, did you get it right? Right here we have the Gyro Turadero Mids. Right on the bottom here, we have the adapter for the clipless cleats, and I'll talk more on that later. The soles are made out of Vibram, which is basically high-tech, firm rubber. Also, apparently very comfortable to walk in. Right here, we have a waterproof or water-resistant strap that goes along the top, shields from mud and water, and also keeps the laces tight and protected. Okay, let's go ahead and get the second one out. Paper. Oh, awesome. Get another extremely important instruction manual. All right, let's get this out right here. All right, there we have them. The thing I can just tell you right now is that the purpose of this video was more of a prelude to the video to come, where I'm gonna be switching from flat pedals to clipless. I have some Craig Brothers clipless pedals coming in tomorrow, around tomorrow, and I'll do an unboxing review of those also. And I'll also probably combine that with setting up these shoes with the clipless cleats and then testing them out, giving the pros and cons. Many of you might already know the pros and cons and many of you might not. And that's a audience I'm targeting. So hopefully you enjoy that more than this. I know this is a pretty lame video, but I know there are some people who would like to see a proper unboxing of these shoes. And when I was looking, I couldn't really find one. Let's talk money. These shoes retail for $190. However, they are on sale at many bike shops and online. Fortunately, I was able to pay much less than the retail price. In terms of sizing, I ordered a half size higher than normal, which is what you want for bike shoes since you want them to be a bit snug. I went ahead and tried these on flat pedals and there wasn't any grip, but I did notice a pretty big difference in terms of power output, which would be attributed to the firm soles. Something I'll throw in is that these shoes are not designed to be used with flats. Worst case scenario, if your cleats break, Technically, you could use them, but I would not suggest buying these just for flat pedals. As always, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, I would love if you subscribed. If not, please let me know why in the comments below. Stay safe, and have a great week.